नाउ स्टूडेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर 8.4 एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन टू यू आई नोट वन ऑफ द सेटेलाइट ऑफ ए जुपिटर हैज एन ऑर्बिटल पीरियड एंड रेडियस ऑफ ऑर्बिट दैट इज गिवन टू यू क्लियर सो आई कैन से लेट सपोज आई एम सेइंग दिस इज अ जुपिटर लेट सपोज दिस इज जुपिटर एंड लेट सपोज आई एम सेइंग हियर दिस इज वन ऑफ अ सेटेलाइट क्लियर वन ऑफ इट सेटेलाइट क्लियर एंड इट इज रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड दिस जुपिटर clear in this question it is given to you it is having orbital period orbital period means i can see time period this is given 1.769 days clear so can we convert this days into uh, seconds yes so i can see if we convert uh, this time period in terms of a time period of a earth clear so in one day we have 24 hours and we have 3600 seconds clear to you so now this is a time period in second clear to you now it is also given here radius of orbit clear so i can see the radius of orbit this one is given by 4.22 into 10 to the power 8 meter clear so radius of orbit this is given to you 4.22 into 10 to the power 8 meter clear now now we have to show that the mass of jupiter is about uh 1000 of 1000 of uh, that of a sun clear so how can we write actually we can write here one formula that time period of an orbit uh, i mean time period of a satellite that is given by one formula 2 pi under root of r cube divided by gm clear now whenever we are talking about time period of this uh, satellite of a jupiter at that time i can say here we will take into the consideration of mass of jupiter clear so from here if we square both side i can say this is t square 4 pi square r cube divided by gm clear so now from here we can write like this mass of jupiter clear i can say mass of jupiter this is given by mass of jupiter 4 pi square we can say this one we have r cube clear mass of jupiter mass of jupiter this is given by 4 pi square r cube divided by gt square clear to you now if we talk about uh, earth and sun clear so let's suppose we can say here let's suppose this is a sun and definitely earth is a planet and this is revolving around this sun clear so now we know very well time period time period is given by this is equal to 365. 25 days 365.25 days clear and if we convert into second we can write like this this is in second clear and distance between earth and sun this is given to you distance between earth and sun this is given to you 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 meter clear so distance between earth and sun this is given 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 meter clear so we we can calculate here mass of a sun clear mass of a sun this is given by 4 pi 4 pi square uh, we can say this is r cube divided by gt square now listen carefully if we take here ratio of mg divided by ms now listen carefully this 4 pi square is a constant it will be cancelled out first we can write here r cube so directly we can say distance so 4.22 into 10 to the power 8 cube divided by i can say value of uh, we can say okay divided by g g will be also cancelled out clear so first we will write here time period square so time period is given 1.769 1.769 into i can say 24 into 60 into 60 and this one is whole square clear it is multiplied with clear now we can say actually we are writing here ms in denominator so definitely the r cube part will come in denominator and this t square goes to numerator clear so t value t value is given so first i am writing here 365.25 into 24 into 60 into 60 and i can say this is square divided by clear divided by uh we can say distance distance is given 1.5 into 10 to the power 11 whole cube clear to you now if you simplify it, definitely here you can get your answer clear so now listen carefully
So a simple part we have definitely a uh, calculation part is lengthy here, but uh, definitely uh, we can take here some approximation and we can find a conclusion that this mass of a Jupiter, this is almost th 1 upon 1000 times of mass of Sun. Clear to you? Yes. So now concentrate. <coughs> now we can write like this mg divided by ms, this is given by clear. Now first uh, try to cancel as much as you can, this is 10 to the power 24, this is 10 to the power 23. It means uh, I can say this is 33 and this is 24. So uh, 24, we can say here we will find 10 to the power 9, clear. So we can write like this 4 point, uh, just a minute. Yes, so here we will find this is 4.22 whole cube, clear, 4.22 whole cube divided by, divided by 1.769 whole square multiply, clear, and actually we already write here this is 24 and uh, this one we have 33, so 1 upon 10 to the power 9, multiply, clear, now you can see 24, 60 and 60 whole square, it will be cancelled out. So finally you can write like this, this is 365.25 whole square divided by, clear? I can say this is 1.769 whole square, 1.769 whole square, clear? So dear student, if you solve it, clear? Approximation you can take here uh, and you can solve it, easily solve it, clear? Uh, you can write like this, mj by ms equal to, let's suppose, let's suppose I am assuming this is 4.5 and this is let's suppose 1.5 or you can take here, let's suppose uh, if we are increasing this one, we have to increase this one also. So let's suppose I am saying this is 4, clear and let's suppose this is 1.5, clear. So at that time you can see 4 into 4 into 4 divide by 1.5 into 1.5 into 1.5, clear and multiply into 10 to the power. 9 clear I can say 365 so multiplied with 365 multiply 365 approximate we can say 1.5 into 1.5 clear to you clear yes 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 okay uh, actually here we have this is cube and this one here we will write 1.5 clear so there is one mistake here uh, this one clear here we will write 1.5 clear 1.5 whole cube we have so we can write like this, this is 1.5 clear so we can write like this 1.5 and here we have cube clear so if you solve it clear approximate you will find here this value just calculation is here you can write like this this is one approximately equal to 1000 clear so from here we can see mj this is given by 1 by 1000 and times of mass of sun clear it means we can see from here we can uh, analyze that mass of a Jupiter it is 1000 times, 1000 times of mass of a sun, clear? So this is all about this question, definitely uh, this question is calculative one, but if you can take some approximation, you can easily solve this question, clear to you? So uh, definitely in gravitation most of time you will find a lengthy calculations, but definitely you can take some approximation and you can reach a near about result, clear? So this is all about this question.